Is Tyler Shue a quarterback worthy of study in the 2025 NFL Draft class? Let's find out. football data show my name is jim coburn and today we're going to be discussing quarterback tyler shoe of louisville so looking at all of his data to kind of see where he stacks in this particular draft class he's an interesting prospect I, there's some people who really like tyler shoe there's other people who think he's more of a backup but we're going to answer all those questions today as we dive into the data today first off the biggest thing to look at in terms of tyler shoe is his mobile quarterback score best and career passing efficiency. Tyler Shue had a 50 percentile mobile quarterback score, 83 in terms of his best passing efficiency score, and he also had an 83 percentile in terms of his career efficiency score. All those numbers line up with starter averages more than anything else. He is a couple points away from the best passing efficiency for pro bowlers and starters, but 83 percentile is pretty close. Overall, he is within striking distance of most of the metrics here for uh, his overall data. Now, one area of concern is his age and competition data. Um, his age score is one percentile. He's pretty much the oldest, if not one of the oldest quarterbacks in this particular draft class, if not one of the oldest quarterbacks to come out in the NFL draft in a very long time. It limits what his overall upside could be. And it also hastens his ability to break out right away because the longer it takes for you to break out in the NFL, the more likely it is that you're not going to make it at the NFL level. So that's one kind of big concern. He is mature, but that is the concern. Now his MEAV score or his mobile expected approximate value score is 51 percentile. He's not a mobile quarterback, but his PEAV score is 68 percentile, which is solid. It's not the best. It'd be on par of like Michael Penix Jr., for example, who also was another older prospect, but did have really great data all around. But those are kind of the main concerns of him from an age and competition perspective. Uh, moving on to his ability in first down, second down, and third down situations. The one area that he kind of struggles a little bit is in uh, first down situations. His uh, cumulative score in first down situations is 21%. Uh, below average in terms of his ability to get first downs, TDs, 15-plus uh, yard plays, and 25-plus yard plays however when you get to second down situations that's by far his best area 95 percentile most of his first downs his tds his 15 25 plus yard plays were all in the, in second down situations for the most part for him and then third down situations was also fairly solid at, uh, with a 70 percentile score right there first uh, conversion rate in third down situations was a uh, 79 percentile in terms of getting first downs TD percentage was below average at 49, and then his percentage of 15 plus yard plays was 82, and 25 plus yard plays was 41. Second down situations were the big money down for Tyler Shue. Every other situation was not the best. Next up, we get to red zone situations, critical situation analytics. Take a look at his ability in third down, red zone, and sack rate. Based on these numbers right here, Tyler Shue did fairly well, 83 percentile in terms of his overall third down passing ability which is a cumulative score and of course you get the red zone data 55 percentile well, slightly above average in terms of his ability to make plays in red zone situations and then his sack rate was 88 percentile does not take a lot of sacks which is something a lot of the quarterbacks in this class wish that they could say yeah he has some positives that are the best in the class and he also has some of the worst statistics in the class, especially when it comes to like his age score. Best metric comparison for him. When I went back and looked at the data to see who would be the best comparison for Tyler Shue based on his overall cumulative data, the main player that really stuck out was Raiders' Aiden O'Connell. Data from Purdue. His mobile quarterback score was 7 percentile. Shue has a little bit more ability to make plays with his legs compared to Aiden O'Connell. Uh, BQS, or best quarterback efficiency score, was 83 for Shue and then 92 for Aiden O'Connell. So O'Connell was a little bit better of a pure passer in terms of his overall upside at the college level. His career quarterback efficiency score was 83 for Shue and then 73 for O'Connell. Age, 1 percentile for Tyler Shue, 4 percentile for Aiden O'Connell. MEAV was 51 for Shue, 50 for O'Connell. Pass was 25 for Shu, 46 for Aiden O'Connell. Third down situations, 83 for Shu, 74 for O'Connell. Red zone situations, O'Connell was actually better in terms of red zone situations, and then sack rate was a little bit better with Shu at 88 compared to 73 for O'Connell, with an overall PEAV score of 89 for Shu and then 90 for O'Connell. 
biggest things driving O'Connell to be sort of a better prospect comes down to just his pure passing ability and his best quarterback score was in the 90 percentile range where Shu was in sort of the 80 percentile range overall but very similar prospects Shu is that type of quarterback that if he's polished enough even though he's older even though he's an older prospect he could still step in and do an Aiden O'Connell type of impression and do a little bit better than him. There's a lot of really solid data with Shu. I don't have anything against that, but from a data perspective, age is everything. Age really informs you in terms of this quarterback's ability to break out. It informs you what their overall upside is. What Aiden O'Connell is is pretty much what it is right now uh, in terms of his pure passing ability, and it's going to degrade after that. Shu is kind of in the same boat. You want Shu to do what Aiden O'Connell did, which is go in the NFL, find a team, start, and do relatively okay for the first year, and then go back to being that same player again the next year because most of the exponential growth for a quarterback typically occurs when they're in that younger age area. Overall, that is Tyler Shue in a nutshell. That's how his data kind of grades out the most. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.